What's going on guys? Dan here again. Welcome back. We're continuing on with Forza Motorsport 5. When we left off, we finished two out of the three exotic classes. Um, however, I had, don't have enough credits to purchase one of the modern hypercars. And I was worried that this would happen. But fortunately, I still have plenty of challenges to do. Where the vehicles are cheap and... Um, cheap and they will I get good payouts over time what do I mean well <coughs> for example class competition I could reuse cars because as you can see I have eligibility with all the cars except for the P class competition but I do have D class vehicles I have C class vehicles etc etc now I'm not gonna do this right now actually what I'm going to do is um go into the specialized one. I totally forgot. I mentioned I wanted to do this, uh, but I totally forgot about it. And I want to do the two track toys. You know what I mean? I think that'd be a lot of fun. I don't know what, cause see how it says ultimate track toys. There's the uh, Ariel Adam V8 supercharged, I would assume. And then you have the, the KTR crossbow right here. And I don't know what else would be under track toys. So I'm really interested. So I think we're going to do in this segment, these two here, the two different, the two uh, open chassis uh, vehicles made for the track, insanely fast, and I think it'll be cool to try them out. And uh, then all we'll have left in this one, in the specialized, is Rally Legends, and we will be racing on tarmac only. Thanks, good tribute to the Rally Legends, don't you agree? Anyway, let's jump into track toys. If the stick was given the keys to a car company, these are the cars he would make us drive. You see, a man who senses only how fast or how sideways he's going doesn't care if he's cold or wet or being machine gunned with insects. You and I do, however. So we'd only consider driving cars like these if the upside was intergalactic joy. These are the cars that represent the mantra of Lotus founder Colin Chapman who said, simplify and add lightness. Lotus themselves have never forgotten this, which is why they came up with the remarkable 211. It's based on the Elise, as most Lotuses have been for years, but it does without frivolous things, like a windscreen, all in the name of saving weight. You won't find a screen on the KTM crossbow either. Being made by sensible Austrians, they do offer one as an option, but it looks silly, and worse still, it adds weight. So forget that, and just enjoy the car. I'm surprised they didn't even show the crossbow. They just showed the... There's only three to pick. I can get a regular Exige. Uh, wait, have I been calling it the KTR? I knew that sounded wrong. KTM, my bad. My bad. It recommends I take the Elise. What's the fun in that? And these things are actually fucking expensive. I'm not... I'm surprised they're that expensive. The braking in these is so good. I feel like I should sacrifice... Um... I should sacrifice... Top speed for good handling. Because I wanted to drive an open cockpit car for a change. Give it a whirly bird. You know what I mean? And the handling will be fin fantastic. Re everything's rear wheel. This thing is good. You just have a much higher top speed than these two. This is quicker, the 211. 626292. 586292. 9269. 9568. I'm taking the 211 by Lotus. Sorry, KTM. The crossbow is just, it's more expensive and it's not as good overall. Look at that. Top speed is lower. And the handling is identical. Acceleration is the same. Launch is less in this. Launch is more in this than this. And braking is only 0.1 higher. This, look at that. A whole one point ahead of the Exige. Same amount of launch. This thing has even better launch. Handling's just not as good. It just has a better top speed. So I'm going to take the Lotus 211. The cheapest car. I apparently don't have any tokens, which is bullshit. I'm going to try and purchase them with tokens. Because I do have tokens. But 
usually just takes a second to load. Anything will look good on these cars, for sure. They're easy to design. Lotus is British, for sure. Ooh, I don't like those. I like the ones near the front. The Xbox One, that's actually pretty nice. I kind of like the Xbox One car. That looks pretty good too, though. Yellow, should we go like a B? Or should we go with the Xbox One green? They're almost identical in every way. This calls to me a little more. You know what? I'm going to do the Xbox One color car. Or do I want it? I'm not sure. Let's go back. Let's see how this one looks. Actually, I might take the... Oh, never mind. I thought it was black. It's got racing green with yellow. That looks horrendous in my opinion. We'll take the Xbox One. <laughs> with tokens. They're there for a reason. I mean, racing green. That's fine. But don't mix it with that yellow. It doesn't go at all. This is your 2009 Lotus 211. I'm interested to see how quick these things are around the corners. Now, yeah, these have 10 races, both of them, so... We head back to Silverstone dick around. Circuit. Known as the home of British motor racing. Ooh. Now, another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove an assist or drop the assist on something. I looked up online to see what would be a good uh what do you call it? A, a good recommend no, is it recommendation? Um yeah, like a recommended setup for your car. And I I pretty much have the recommendation. They want me to they say you should drive manual shift. Um but they should also say that I take the stability control off, but leave traction control on. Because sometimes the stability control overpowers what you want to do. And I can feel that. So, if we go to assist. Now, braking, I'm going to leave assisted. They recommend I did ABS on. Uh, but I don't think I'm ready for that with uh, semi-auto right now. The reason for that. See if they're TCS only. Yeah, they recommend I do simulation steering. And they also recommend I do braking line with ABS on. That's what they recommend. Um, shifting, yeah, manual. There's a few things they recommend. Uh, but yeah, braking, I will be going to this, but I want to get the feel for shifting with all this stuff on. You know what I mean? Alright, let's give it a whirl. I'm interested. I wonder what everyone's dominantly driving. There's an exige over there. I forgot I'm shifting. That was a good start, man. Look at this thing, man. It's quick. that cornering Ah oh, shit This is cool man open cockpit Overtake
God, I gotta move up the line, bro. Not doing so good. Move it, bitch. I gotta remember the second gear revs really high. This is still the first lap, after all. Yeah, man, this thing accelerates quickly. Come on, baby, give me that speed. Right now I got silver. Oh, made it to third. Yeah, man, she's quick off the stop. I don't know. We'll see if we can catch up to the top two guys. That could have been better. I got the KTM crossbow in front of me. Oh, a little high. Oh, shit, buddy. Look at this guy go. awesome man I love shifting I'm glad I made the up upgrade it makes you feel more in control I'm pretty far behind that guy Very good, I got second, I'm good with that. Not a bad start. This is cool driving an open, uh, open roof car. Look, it totally looks like a, uh, a Siege. Or an Elise, I guess. Oh, like look at it. even 15% gives you a decent upgrade. Every little bit helps after all. Oh, again, 100 experience with Lotus. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? Usually our next event takes place high in the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. Our yeah, shut up, bitch. Um, normally... Anyway, normally, I would, uh, after a long day of work, 
I am tired and it feels good just to sit down, have a beer like I'm doing right now. Maybe record some gameplay, get some more work done for YouTube. And relax, because it's nice. You know, I think it's nice. I can sit down and relax. Except there's a problem. My muscles hurt like a fuck. <laughs> I don't know why they're so sore, but today... I didn't even, it wasn't even that hard today. I was going overtime. I was doing really well, but... They are sore. That was bad. I had to let go. Come on, bitch. Where's Buddy? That's gotta be him there. Get out of the way. Very good. I love this little car, man. It handles like a dream. How many laps? Two laps. Sorry. I feel like there's a guy really close to me, but I can't see him. I see what they mean by taking stability control off. I feel way more in control of this car. It doesn't feel like a generic line. The car feels like it still does what it's supposed to. Oh, easy. God, this guy, oh, uh, I, I, I paid for that. God damn it, I can't let this guy win. God damn it, man, go! Come on, baby, I gotta pass him. Damn it, I could have had him. I don't think I got it because I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Oh, that was a shitty shift. Very nice. Pulled her in at the last minute. That was pot of gold. What is this? Damn it. Why, why do you have to... Oh. Why do you, Like, it was so much easier to look at what you had. No. What a silly thing. I think that's the one thing I don't like. They made going into achievements so damn hard. <clears throat> I don't know what they're doing. I really don't. Anyway, we're about to level up to 48, I think. Or did now we just? We, return to the we may have just. Forest in Belgium and the Circuit de Spa Francorchamps. Circuit de Spa Francorchamps. It's fantastic, Belgium. And it's going to the spa to Francorchamps. The Francorchamps are actually moist towelettes filled with fan 
fantastic herbs to accentuate your soul and your body. And it makes you feel 15 years younger. It's fantastic. The Frankerchamps Spa in Belgium. Go to it, sweetheart. You'll love it. Great. I've, I've killed this racetrack for a lot of you, I'm sure, with that. <laughs> That's great. It's kind of funny. I love how it's just stopped, even when he was telling it to move. I mean, that's how it is normally, but he was completely dead right from the beginning. Come on, bitches. Whoa! I kind of recovered. I didn't spin out as much as I... Well, I didn't even spin out. Fuck off. Grass cut, like a boss. Oh, grass. The control, man, my God. Oh! God damn it. Son of a bitch. We gotta pass these two. Nice. Come on, Lotus. Let's get that third place. He's up ahead pretty far. Oh shit, that was bad. Oh crap, I probably could have done that actually. Nice, that, that time actually worked. That was a series of shitty shifts on my part. But man, you can stay in the gear longer. Instead of it doing... What? Fuck off! What a prick! Did you see that shit? He cut in front of me and slammed on his brakes. What a bitch! I can't believe that happened. Can we get fast enough? Let's 
See, by the time you need this, you can shift it. It's pointless. I gotta catch him. Guy's still behind me. So you can get a few extra revs out of it. That's just it, right? Giving you an easier bet, like a you'll be able to pass better. I want to see if I can actually catch up to this guy. Yeah, get maximum rest.